What's up guys, I hope you're having a great day. My name is Michael and in this video we're looking at Crypto Hippo. Crypto Hippo is an upcoming NFT game that has the best, one of the best roadmaps I've seen with all the new upcoming crypto projects out there, or NFT projects out there. The white paper is looking awesome, they're bringing a lot of utility, a lot of good things going forward, at least they promise a lot of good things. If they can actually back it up, this is definitely gonna be one of my favorite uh, NFT projects out there, out there. So I'm very excited. I got a nice little surprise for you guys about this project at the end of the video. So do make sure that you watch it up until the end if you want to be part of a cute little giveaway about Crypto Hippo. So we're gonna dive into it. As you can see, the the project itself evolves around hippos, which is obviously um, easy to state by the name of it. But welcome to the watering hole. So they've uh, they're gonna make a watering hole, which is something that they're gonna be building on within their project itself uh, a little bit more about this explained in their uh, white paper but it's going to be a project with 10,000 crypto hippos so it's going to be 10,000 nfts available to mint for 0.08 ethereum the dates of the mints aren't announced yet they want to do it in january is what they said so that is obviously within the next couple of days I haven't found the actual date yet, they haven't announced it yet, but it is going to be happening soon, whether it's going to be exactly January or maybe beginning of February, not 100% confirmed yet, but they're working on their whitelist now, they're filling up their whitelist spots. Again, if you want to be part of this project, watch up until the end of the video, because I got a little surprise for you there. But um, this is the art of it, I like the art, it's cool, um, a little bit different, of course, we have a lot of animals going on right now, a lot of apes, all right, everybody worked with the apes, this is a little bit different than the apes, but... I think it's uh, they've done it well where looking at the art, it kind of just looks appealing, it looks happy, it looks friendly, which I think they've done, done a good job with. But more than just the art, there's actually a whole lot of utility behind this project. And again, it is one of the best utility giving projects, at least that I've seen out there. We're working on our own project as well in our Discord on our YouTube channel. And you know the community is helping with building up our, our our project, and a lot of these things are similar to what we're building because you just want to give give back as much as possible to your own community, to the early investors, to the people that support you and work with you. You're not doing this alone; you're doing this together with the community, and they just played into that like in in the best possible way, really. So one of these things is this more than just a profile picture. Crypto hippos will be using five hundred thousand dollars in sales to build the watering hole in real life as an Airbnb property for holders among other ventures. So that's their first statement. That's the first thing they're gonna work on. Uh, a little bit more about this in the white paper. All proceeds from these plans are controlled via a smart contract, which a Crypto Hippo NFT has governance in. So you can track everything. Everything is open, of course. That is you know, one of the strengths of crypto. You can see everything that's happening. So by using the smart contract, you can see where the money is headed and what they do with it and you are part of the governance, it means you're part of the business itself. I think they state that in the white paper somewhere as well is you are the business, you are part of the business itself. But another thing that they do is of course, giving back to the world and doing a donation, which is something. So what they do is we love hippos, but they're in trouble. We would like to donate $10,000 from minting to proceeds to the African Wildlife Foundation. They serve to protect wildlife, including hippos. In my opinion, this is something they don't promote enough and they don't do enough these days within crypto. If we're honest, there's so much money to be made in crypto. There's so much, well, people are making money, projects are making money. There's just so much money floating around in the crypto space. And you know, it's a good thing to give back to the people in need or the, the animals who are in need as well. And this is something that is awesome. A lot more projects do this. They, they donate to charities, but people aren't as excited about it as they should because donating $10,000 at the start, they might, they might do more later on, you don't know that yet, but that is awesome, right? Because together with these projects, they can actually make the world a better place. And if you have the opportunity to do so, and you have so much money floating around in your project, in your community, in you know the whole crypto scene, why not? I know there's other projects that do this and they have it in the white paper sometimes and it's in one of the last pages and it's not promoted. And, People see this and I probably think like, oh yeah, cool, that's awesome, that's nice. But you know, if you really think about it, it's something that should be promoted more and that people should be more excited about project donating. This this alone should be a reason to invest in certain projects because you're helping the world become a better place, right? All right, cool. Crypto Hippo Roadmap. So they've done a pretty good job with the roadmap itself and the way they've explained things. 
There's going to be a pre-sale, so there's going to be 2,000 Crypto Hippos will be available for the mint through the whitelist spots. There's a couple of spots available and their charitable donation will follow successful pre-sale. So if there's pre-sale is done successfully, they will start their $10,000 donation. After that, they're going to start with the real estate. So um, that's one of the utilities, right? The community will vote on potential real estate prospects. All holders of a Crypto Hippo NFT will be able to provide research on each prospect to aid in the process. Voting system will trigger the purchase of an agreed property for the community. So by being part of this community, you're also going to be a real estate owner, real estate investor. Well, a lot of people want to get that title, might not have the funds to get actual real estate. This is an easy little trick to still be able to say that you're a real estate investor. Put it on your LinkedIn profile, right? Safari giveaway. So there's a Safari trip for two people will be given away. So you can potentially see actual hippos in real life, which is cool. The main sale will be 7,825 crypto hippos. They'll be available through the mint. The mint is 0.08 Ethereum and 175 will still be used for marketing. So we're going to keep those themselves for marketing uh, purposes. There will be a Tesla giveaway, which is cool. Then the trading royalties. So 50% of the royalties earned on secondary markets and open sea sales on other NFT marketplace sales will be going back towards people holding the NFTs. You hold one of them, uh, as it explained here, yes. You hold one of them for 30 days straight. At the end of the 30 days, you will get 50% of the total secondary sales sent to you. Obviously spread out evenly over all NFT holders. Then there's community holding in Bitcoin and Ethereum. So they have the real estate acquisition and then the remaining funds will go to the watering hole community and they will be made available through smart contracts. This will be for further operations. Founders will suggest holdings in Bitcoin and Ethereum, but since it's a decentralized community, there's a DAO system in place, the vote will be the final say. So people in the community will be able to say whether you want the Bitcoin, whether you want the Ethereum, something else, USDT, BUSD, just let, let it sit there with a stable coin or maybe something totally different, right? And then further community development will come over time. So there's gonna be merchandise for the holders, that's gonna be free, they're gonna sell that, they're gonna sell that to other people, make money out of it, etc., etc., etc. I think at least, they don't actually say that, I think, but. Usually that's the case, you give the holders free merch and then you still sell it to other people. But, um, we'll have to see how that develops if that's longer term, right? None like the other, randomly generated 100 different traits. So this is what they're gonna look like. This is kind of the, the style of it. And then there's a fact sheet. This is cool if you're brand new to NFTs, you don't really know what it is. There's a bit of an int inter introduction, what a NFT is, how you use them and how you should trade them. We're not gonna get into that, but if you're curious about knowing more from what it is to be able to you know trade nfts and what the hell it actually is go to the website and have a look at that this is the team so you have will sam ray which is i think the the founders the first three or the first two are the founders will has also developed another project which this is his twitter profile here you can see um killer squad nft i'm not sure i haven't done the research about the team and the previous projects that much but i think that this is one of the this is his project as well. This is one of the projects that he's working on. Um, you can see it on his LinkedIn profile as well. This is his LinkedIn and um, you can definitely see that he goes to the gym, I think. Compliment for him there. But he's a lead software engineer at Amount. He's got a lot of experience as a web developer within web development and software engineer. All these guys have like a software engineer type of background, which is, which is cool. They're definitely experienced and here's the, the project that he's working with now, which is called Amount. Then you have Sam. I've spoken to Sam a little bit myself about the project. He's one of the founders and there's not too much information here. He just promotes his his own project, right? But they focus a little bit more on the actual Twitter from Crypto Hippos itself. They have right now 12.8 thousand followers within Crypto Hippo. They post, you know, they retweet the posts. They have collaborations every once in a while and they post funny stuff. There's one picture somewhere that I saw, this one. Hippos don't care, hippo got things to do, hippo got places to go. And they get attacked by lions, but they just keep going. I wonder whether this is real or not. If this is real, it's a pretty damn strong hippo. But nothing too uh, special on their social that you really need to be aware of. Most of the information is in their Discord. They have taken a lot of care about the details within the Discord, but then we have their whitelist. I'm gonna be 
very straightforward and explain everything that you need to know properly because there's a lot of details to it um, but it is very very well explained so it ve it's very nice to read and, and go through this that really thought it through about how you should set up a proper roadmap and a proper white paper so the mission statement is this crypto hippo nft watering hole community has been founded with the core objective of serving as a communal resource in the wild hippos are intelligent tenacious and loyal animals they live in a water hole watering hole nourishing themselves from its sus sustenance 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 still not my native language english sustenance what the hell does that mean someone let me know what that means other animals feed around the watering hole. Hippos are amongst the kings of the habitat, though, spending their time there consistently. Well, if you ever watch videos of like animals in a real life, hippos, nobody really fucks with hippos. They're strong animals um, that even lions are usually afraid of. But we aim to establish a community of crypto hippos sticking together in the same manner. All crypto hippos will drink from the watering hole and have a say in its activities. This white paper outlines the plans to build a decentralized communal business smart country will govern 100 percent of the funds involved here while all crypto hippo nfts will have part of participation rights in the ecosystem remaining minting proceeds after this phase for our roadmap will be used for future developments on the blockchain space and more um, the cool thing is that they've just thrown utility after utility after utility but it kind of looks like everything is actually achievable right sometimes they just throw in their promises that you know that they're never going to be able to to achieve but these guys are actually doing things that i believe will be able to be achieved still you have to see whether they're going to back everything up but let's let's just give them the benefit of the doubt for now because they um have just started with things right what you want to look for is when they have done the mint whether they have you know when they have be able to raise the funds whether they're actually going to continue with all the things and they're going to continue to move so first thing will be will they actually be donating will they actually set up the watering hole is that going to be you know is that going to pick up space straight away yes or no i think that they will they've done a lot of that taken a lot of cash within developing all this they don't, don't do that for no reason but you know that'll be a cool thing to see how fast they're going to develop all these things that they they say they would beforehand right so online presence is established that's what they've done with their socials the white listing is going to happen the pre-sale will be happening then after that the safari uh trip giveaway is going to happen to the people that obviously were part of the uh, the sale, charitable donation, real estate proposal and purchase. So they want to what they want to develop and buy real estate. So you can be real estate owners, the Ethereum and Bitcoin purchase. And then they also have metaverse land. So they want to buy metaverse in um, it's a little bit down here, but in sandbox and in Decentraland. Then the public sale, of course, the Tesla giveaway, sustainable business launch. So they want to do merge with it. With that merge, they want to they want to buy I've done like I've broken the white paper down for you guys already so you don't have to read every single thing so I'm giving you the dot points of what's important but they're gonna uh, build a business within the business itself so one of their uh, ideas is to build businesses with the crypto hippo community they build businesses first sustainable business they've decided to develop is a printing service so they print COVID mats, keychains, marks, posters and more which is going to be merged from the actual project and it's going to be free for all holders then you have the royalty so like i said 50 percent of the royalty is gonna gonna be given away um they did it did the calculation i actually wanted to do the calculation in like a sheet here like an excel sheet for you guys to break it down but they've already done that in the white paper if a thousand ethereum is going to be traded in 30 days on um open sea then five percent is the the, the the calculation amount within the 30 days divided by five percent divide the number of crypto hippos that remains so why five percent is because they give away 50 percent of it but they, they they divide it by i don't know exactly why they've done it like this but it is going to be 50 percent of the total amount sold right so a thousand ethereum traded which should be 50 percent, which is 500 ethereum and then 500 ethereum divided by 10,000 hippos because there's 10,000 of them um should come out to this what they've done is divided by five percent and then divided by a thousand comes down to the exact same number uh, but they've just did it a little bit different i don't know why but at time of writing uh, probably was ethereum around four thousand dollar mark which was two hundred dollars that you get um to yourself i know ten thousand dollars traded in 30 days is ambitious it's just a lot but it's not impossible and over time if the project develops and uh floor price goes up then that can be you know that can become even more and more and more if they become one of the bigger projects out there 
then that's, uh, it's a very awesome thing to have as a passive income by just holding one of these NFTs. So project funding, they've already put in six figures into their own project from the, the founders itself that put in a couple of hundred grand to develop this project. And um, that's how they, they kicked off the whole the development of the project so far with the marketing, the, the art that they've done, etc. The proceeds, all right, so let's go to the important part, the charity, we've already seen that. Holders in control, DAO system, we already know this, right? People have a saying in what's happening within projects which is awesome, roadmap, uh, utility, decentralization, similar things, so people are having a saying in what's gonna happen. A lot of NFT projects are launching with anonymous founders and assuming their holders just the trust that they will execute and loosely put together roadmap. We believe in more transparency than that, that's why our team is fully doxed and while we're creating decentralized infrastructure to manage utility for the community. Firstly, 20% of minting proceeds will, be, will go to build a utility, will be locked up on a smart contract. So again, you can all see that it's open. It's for you to be able to, to track and see that there's actual proof to it. Founders will not be able to withdraw these funds for themselves. Potential revenues from establishment like Airbnb property will be transferred from fiat into crypto and placed into a smart contract. What is this, this um, Airbnb um, situation? There's a little bit more about that part here, which they explain. Each crypto NFT will have the rights to participate in a governance that is decentralized ecosystem, means if rewards are to be released to crypto hippo NFTs or if funds to be approved for other operations, each NFT will have a vote. Everybody holding an NFT will have a vote. Majority rules which is also awesome. before the structure is even in place, a holder web portal will allow the community to vote on design decisions for the actual smart contract. All right, let's go to the real estate, which is cool. What they're gonna do, 20% of the watering hole fund will be used to bring the watering hole to real life as a physical establishment. So they're actually gonna build that in the real life. These funds will finance a purchase of distressed residential real estate in Florida, USA. Although the property being in distress is not a requirement, it is often more economical for the investor. Property being in distress essentially means that it's that it's in danger of being reclaimed by a bank or another authority. Property owner loses 100% of the equity in this case. Thus, a third party purchase of the property benefits the investor and also eliminates a significant portion of the property owner's loss. All right, cool. Operation model. This is how they explain the full Airbnb buying property setup. So they've done a full calculation for you as an example. Um, of when you would buy a property for where's the price here purchase price of 500k right daily average, uh, average daily rate that they've explained I think that that's like your daily rate that you have to pay for it how many nights are available per year a couple of days of uh, maintenance etc occupation night if that's this is rented out for this amount there's a whole um, explanation and calculation done with gas, with electricity, with water, etc., all the fees included, and you come down to a cash after debt of 48k, and then of course the, the total acquisition cost is 115, which is with a 20% down payment, which they've already explained here. Awesome system in the USA with buying real estate in the Netherlands, it's a little bit different. You can just do down payment of 20%, you're able to get a loan for a pretty decent amount. In the Netherlands, it's definitely not that easy. Um, so there's a cap rate 14.1% and then eventually, I don't fully know exactly what this means, but that's because we have total different um, rules or regulations here in the Netherlands, the way they've explained it. But if you do a little bit of research, um, net, net operation income is NOY, which is gonna be coming down to this. So if you do a little bit of research and you find out what exactly means what, then you know exactly what the breakdown is here. Uh, I haven't done that for you. You can do that yourself, of course, if you want to know. But the cool thing is that they've just shown it to you and they're very open and honest about everything, right? Community involvement. So there's going to be a community involvement where everybody is going to be able to get that the innovation of this venture will signif signify the watering hole coming to life in the real world. Everybody can use this. Holders will be able to see the property on the Airbnb website once it's operational with the interior of the property resembling the water hole theme. The cool thing is that you can just go there if you want to, you want the holders, it's an Airbnb that you can use. So this property management is gonna be involved, rental value, further outlook, uh, everything explained to you. Then next up, you have the Bitcoin purchase, which they've already talked about, right? Why? Plausible for a prospective member of this community to question the prospect of 
having the community invest in Bitcoin, no investment, uh, while there's no immediate benefit to pooling funds in a simple holding scheme, people can decide for themselves eventually because it is a voting system whether you want to get invested in Bitcoin or not. If the majority of people say yes, then they will. If the majority of the people say no, then they won't. Obviously, it's a little bit less risky to just put it in stable coins, have the whole funds there in USDT, BUSD, whatever, so that it is be able to be used for later on. At the same time, that's not an investment, that's just a pool of money sitting there to be used for other things later, uh, later on down the track. Putting it into an actual investment as, for example, Bitcoin or whatever, has a little bit of risk to it because the market might go down. As we know, the market is dropping significantly right now, but it could also mean over the years and years and years to come that it's gonna be worth a lot more. And being part of a community like that, you're able to invest the money into something, right? And you benefit from it later on. Initial logic behind this is a timeless financial concept, diversification, right? So you invest in real estate, you invest in Bitcoin, you invest in a couple of different things within the community. Makes sense. The proceeds to it, future outlook and strategy. Ethereum, same thing. Here's the metaverse. Um, this is a little bit more important. Why? Because we're still looking at the, the metaverse, the play to earn style, the, the crypto gaming, the whole shift in the world that's going on. Sure, cool thing, investing in Bitcoin and Ethereum. I think that's a good idea. I like the real estate. It's real estate, it's tangible, it's in the real world. But we're also very curious to see, you know, how the developments are going to go within the metaverse over the next couple of years. And you want to play into that when you're a NFT project, which they are. Metaverse is currently manifested by several different competitors. So they're going to focus on Decentraland and Sandbox. That's what they want to invest in. Again, they're going to let people decide a little bit when it comes down to this. But currently, floor price is sitting at 3.5 Ethereum. The cool thing is that there's scarcity. Eventually, there's no land left in both the central and sandbox you can imagine what happens to the price when that happens because projects want to develop their projects their metaverse on land of these projects now there's still land available eventually mass adoption happening there's not going to be land available anymore you buy 10 of these pieces for 35 ethereum as a community investment now you can imagine what happens to the price later on well future outlook uh, and strategy Video game like worlds are not the only applications of the metaverse. Facebook recently became meta and will likely take a social interaction focused approach to a metaverse rendition. This community will not be clouded by purely short term thinking. This will be a discussions held with the community to evaluate future outlook. Given that other opportunities are indeed coming as the short term plan of action, a move into more established integrations is made. It's not final though, and the founders will be on the outlook for more opportunities to build, makes sense. Community involvement consistently coming back. As already mentioned, there's no fin finality in the metaverse approach for this group. In the case, there will be community talks held on the Discord and votes held through a decentralized smart contract. So people are able to vote what they wanna do within the metaverse, explore options, establish viable ones, and ultimately take action on one or more. Better decisions will be made in developing niche, like the metaverse, if the community's knowledge is with is combined with founders' knowledge. Then there's gonna be Web3 development, as every project should. Makes sense, sustainable business, again, similar thing. Crypto, Hippo, NFT, and Watering Hole community has been founded with the core objective of serving as a communal resource. You read this, you, you notice that they've really thought things through. They're really like 10 steps ahead, um, ahead already before the mint has actually happened. They already know exactly what's gonna happen after the mint has done, after they sell out, what's gonna happen with the, the money, what's gonna happen with the overall community, the, the direction of the project. They've worked everything out step by step by step. And I really like this. I always talk about project, you know, you need trust and you need confidence within the project. And you gain that by looking at the roadmap, at the white paper, at the team, etc. And this project, when you look through all this, it just really develops and creates trust, right? Which is good for us as an investor point of view. Um, then the founders we've already gone through. So this is the most amount of information that we have. We've already gone through the team. Then you have the artists. If you want to look at the artists, of course, you can search for the artists that developed the uh, hippo style. And then there's marketing consultants. So that's the most amount of information out of a white paper I've ever gotten, to be honest. Um, everything you want to know is in there. Everything you need to know is in there. Everything that's important, it's in there. And everything you kind of want to hear is in there as well. A lot of things are romanticized and a lot of things are put down a little bit better than they will be in, in reality. But even if, you know, even if they accomplish 50% of what's in the roadmap over the next one or two years, or maybe three years even, then at least you know that this project is definitely headed into 
the right direction. So that's all the information that we have on Crypto Hippos. As you can tell, I'm very excited about this project. I'm very curious to see what you guys are. So what I was going to plan on doing, which I already said at the start of this video, we are allowed to give away five whitelist spots for Crypto Hippo to people that want to participate in the mint of this project. To participate is do make sure that you follow my Twitter because the announcement will be made on Twitter itself where you can participate in a whitelist giveaway. There's going to be five spots available. Five people will be part of the whitelist and will be able to mint one of these crypto hippos or more. So if you want to stay up to that, if you want to be participating in the giveaway, make sure you follow me on Twitter where the announcement will be. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching. If you could hit the subscribe button so you get updated on all the next videos coming up, I would appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.